Fuck it, I'm 40. We're back, bitches. We back. We back. And when Little I say hiatus. We, when I say we, I mean uh Tracy Crater, Dirty Girl, and Tracy Crater, and uh, Kelly Bell. Kelly Bell. Yeah, we're back. And, uh, we're fucking on 40 podcast, soon to be fucking on 40 YouTube channel. Yeah, it's coming soon. Uh, so we're working on content. So just it's another way. That you... up. Yeah, but you're not really going to be able to find it because we didn't name it anything fun. So you can actually find it yet. That's right. <laughs> Although if you did a search on Google, if you Google search Tracy Crater, Kelly Bell, you probably <laughs> it might come up. I don't know. I don't know how yeah, big maybe. our Google rating is. Mine's good. I'm Googleable. I am. I have a lot yeah. of social media presence. That's what nobody I'm saying. Can, nobody can pluck me off of existence. <laughs> Thank God for that. Thank God for that. So we're virtual uh, today. We are. We're not in location. We're not at the party house. Um, boo. We are boo. I'm drinking alone. Drinking alone at your house. I'm at my house. We are. It's the first time we've ever actually recorded this podcast this way. Yeah, we so, did a little snippet last, two weeks ago, which actually is funny because there's a reason why we haven't um, recorded. But two weeks ago, we did a, or no, was it last week? Last week, last Thursday, we did a promo because I was just about to come. You were on your way home. I was just about to come over to your house to record. And yep. I was like, well, let's test out this virtual thing. We'll do a little video for social media content, whatever. So it, it went great. It was like two minutes. It was stupid. We posted it, fine, whatever. And then my husband got all up in himself and was like, can you like record on Saturday and hang out with me <laughs> tonight? And I'm like, and like, he never does that like ever. So I was like, Ugh. all right, well, you are at Taekwondo. I wouldn't say he doesn't ever do it. He does get a little jelly over our uh, Thursday get togethers. He does. He I does. think <laughs> our standing, there's always something about like, do you honestly have to podcast this Thursday? What do you got going on this Thursday? It's like, it's the Gosh. same thing we do every Thursday. Gosh. <laughs> Jeez. So, and he's, and he's so, always a little butthurt about it. He is. I think because I come home and I'm drunk. That's probably. <laughs> 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 and I'm like, you can join us. You're all more than welcome. You can join us. So I didn't come over on Thursday. And then yep. I bodged, I, I bodged that bullet. <laughs> yeah, bodged you bodged that bullet. bullet. Mm -hmm. I dodged the, I, I did it again. I dodged the bullet. So tell us what you have, you dirty, dirty little girl. Syphilis. <laughs> manic Whoa. of the brain. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, no, so Thursday, all intentions. We're going to record, get home, and it's like 7 o'clock. I'm like, oh, I'm not feeling so great. I looked at my husband, and I was like, hmm. I, uh, I'm sick. I'm going to bed. And he's like, what? I was like, nope, it's, it's happening. Whatever this is, it's happening. I'm going to bed. I don't feel good. And I had the worst night I've had in a long, long time. <laughs> so then Friday we woke up, I went to go get tested. I tested negative for uh, COVID. So I was like, okay, then this is straight up the flu. And, um, so I went through the weekend. It's all the flu. It's like, to me, test negative. I'm dealing with it. So I'm like in and out, whatever. And then Tuesday, I test myself again because they tell you like on the fifth day, if you if you have COVID symptoms, which is basically, you know, if you have any illness, it yeah, seems to be symptoms was, of COVID anymore. Who knows? So I wake up Tuesday morning. I'm feeling much better. I'm like dressed, ready to go back to work. Like, okay, got it. Ready to take on the day. <laughs> Boom. Positive for COVID. <laughs> bye, bye. Well, welcome to the party, pal. That's right. I am Been now there, officially, uh, one of the infected ones. So <laughs> this is like the, the, what is it? The Hills have eyes. That's what we all are. The hills have eyes. <laughs> that's what, uh, like, that's how, seriously, that's how I felt when I got COVID. I was like, oh my God. I was like, I know like billions of people have already had it, but I'm like, I feel so dirty. Yeah. Like we, when we got on a, when I was feeling better and we were on the call, you were like, didn't you, don't you feel dirty? Don't you feel dirty? I'm like, I, I really don't. I just, I actually am starting to feel much better. Thank you. I, I, well, my head hurt like a bitch though. The first night I was like, oh my God, if I died and I didn't have to feel this pain anymore, I'd be okay. And I know that sounds very callous given the fact that 
people, a lot of people, people died, die. yeah. but oh my God, that headache was a fucking nightmare, like a fucking nightmare. Um, I basically had a stuffy nose and a cough, like, a, like not even really a cough. I didn't actually have a cough until after the two weeks or 10 days were up. And then I've had a cough yeah. for the last six months and it's all drainage, which you told me to use that. Whatever thing is it called? I call it the Navage. My husband says it's too close to to Vaj. Vaj. Vagine. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I, you're going to need another name for it. I was like, I don't know how to say it, but that's what it spells. When you, when you look how it's spelled, I'm like, that's what it reads to me. But it's basically so, an electrical neti pot, right? Oh yeah. And it is wonderful. So I have the same thing. Like the cough that I have is all just drainage. I, I have yeah, never had, I had that. Yeah, it's not in my lungs at all. But, um, I, when I had talked to, uh, my doctor, she was like real adamant. Don't have a decongestant. Like all I'm saying is she, she will wreck the world of decongestants. Cause she was putting the fear of God. I was like, I got it. I got it. I'll do this. I, oh, I tried everything. Decongestants. I had the, um, I, she gave me, I had like four different inhalers that she gave me. I'm like, it's not in my lungs. I'm like, I don't know what to tell you. And well, this just- has. This is great because it, it literally shoots it up one side and it sucks it out the other side. And you'd be amazed at the kind of stuff that comes out. Yeah, it's kind of gross. Well, you kind of have sold me on it because on Monday you sounded like garbage. Yeah, I did. And I sound you great. actually today. sound, other than that that little nasty shit you just did. Yeah, you're did welcome. Did you get some on your sleeve? Just curious. <laughs> did, you, did you get any some on your sleeve? That's right. <laughs> want some of that. Uh, yeah, I love it. And it's twice a day and you have to first, when you first try it though, you feel like you're drowning. So you got to get used so to that. Waterboarded, waterboard, <laughs> waterboarded. Yeah. Water easy boarded. Thank you. Oh, okay. Okay. Good. You know what? You should Big start a podcast. English man in my head. <laughs> Can't get it out. <laughs> Maybe it's I the haven't giggled as <laughs> I don't know. I giggled this much. <laughs> In a minute, and that is irritating. <laughs> Sorry, I'll irritating try not my to be throat so to laugh this much. I'll try not to be so funny. So yeah, so the the Navaj definitely has worked. I will also say what has been <gasps> no for days. Okay, so you totally froze up. You got to do that again. Say it again. <laughs> I said, um, <laughs> I said that um, my uh, I quarantined in my room the whole time. Like I was definitely by myself and there is nothing more like completely boring than being in your room. I have, I I've watched every Marvel, everything movie show, you name it. I've watched it, but my husband did awesome because he was, he made every meal brought me drinks and snacks and food and you name it. He was always checking on me. Like he just kept coming in. He's like, how are you feeling? You all right? How are you feeling? You are really, we just got a big, um, yeah. So it was, it was great. It was great. I had a, I I was going to (laughs) say, it's going to be real good for our YouTube channel, the visual of this podcast. Um, so yeah, so he was really great and I, uh, stayed in there. Okay. It's, it's getting weird. Your visuals here. Uh, well, you know, it's funny because to give everybody um, who's just listening an idea, Kelly's basically just, you know, dancing in front of the camera. My boobs that are we're at on the camera, not me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's part of you. But yeah, you were telling me what that Michael, you, you, Michael pissed you off the other day. Cause he, uh, oh, oh no, it was cared today. less about it was your well being. No, it was all just today. Oh, today, so, today, today. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, like, I'm, I'm not in the kitchen today. I was actually just having to catch up on a whole, you're bus- very fidgety. I'm going to need you to take a breath and take a second. You were like, non-stop fidgety right now. I can't because it's so hot in this house. It's so hot. We put the, it's usually ice ass cold, but we put a fire on and now I'm like really hot. So anyway, and there was an internet connection thing. So I had to move anyway. So yeah. So today, okay. So I'm home today doing, um, invoices, emails, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Preparing yeah. menus, that type of shit and work. it work. And <clears throat> So I go into, Michael works from home. He, he, he does, he works from home. So I go into, that's why he's here too on a Thursday. So I go into the bathroom and he happens to be in the bathroom with me. And I, and I'm in our bathroom small, we have a small house and we just redid our bathroom in our master bathroom, which took us like 20 years to do. And I highly recommend don't wait that long to redo something like a bathroom in your house because I fucking love my bathroom. I could like, I, Oh God, I love my bathroom. 
double shower heads is the shit people it's the shit everybody should have double shower heads small ass bathroom but we took the tub out put in the double shower heads for the master bathroom we have another bathroom luckily that we can keep for tub resale whatever we got none of that's relevant to the story none of it's keep going I, I, so get it. I hit my elbow onto these big glass doors which are heavy and thick and I was like, oh, and it like got me right in the funny bone. So, you know, when it gets you right in the right in the right spot, it hurts like a motherfucker, right? Yeah. His immediate response was like, you do realize those are $2,000 shower doors. What do you think you were horsing around in there? <laughs> I was like, <laughs> like, you're not a grown ass woman anymore. You're horsing around in the bathroom. I was like, are you, you, I was like, are you serious? I'm not a toddler. How about you ask me how I'm doing? What if I would have broken the doors and then been like the, looked like a, what is her name from um, the, the movie that I love? <laughs> that is the dumbest thing I've heard you say. Yet, romance. Today. And um, Patricia. What is that girl's name the from the movie I love? My and husband did that same door. shit to me last night. He's like, oh, I love that one actress. Blonde, she's real pretty. I was like, okay, that says nothing and has narrowed down to not. He's like, you know, she's always playing the love interest in there. Like, that's like saying I'm in, I'm in love with a female actor who plays a mom, a sister, a wife, a fucking love interest. I was like, um, none of these things Goldie narrowed Hall. down. Is he talking about yeah. Goldie Hawn? <laughs> so dumb. And I so, think, so I can't even remember who it was. So that was not his only insensitive remark today. So then, so then <laughs> again, I'm home and yeah. I went downstairs. My office is downstairs. His office is upstairs in my office being that I'm on a couch. I've been asking mm -hmm. for a, months of Sundays. Can we please get um, um, a desk for me so I can have an office? So I go upstairs and I'm in my house shoes and I just happened to slip, but I have like stuff in my hands. And I have a, I definitely have a bottle of lotion in my hands and I'm wearing my house shoes and I go up the, the stairs and I slip, I misstep and I slipped and I dropped the bottle of lotion, which then like bounces down the stairs. And I was like, like shit, fuck ass. I don't know. Some, some curse words fell out of my mouth and all I heard, and again, the lotion fell down the stairs not me, but the lotion, but it sounds like it could have been me. And he's like, I'm on a conference call. <laughs> Again, no check to see if the well being of your wife, I could be like crippled at the bottom of the stairs. Let's also address the fact that he yelled at you while he was on the conference call. How about <laughs> press mute and be like, honey, you all right? I am on a conference call. <laughs> you know what I mean? But that's my point is the fact that. It was not like it, he yelled at you while he's on a conference call. My, it my guess is better to let it happen. My guess is he muted. He had to have muted the call, which I'm guessing he did. But I'm like, wouldn't you feel like a shit for brains if you're like, again, it was me lying on the bottom of the staircase, you know, all I would up. have been the shit for brains who would have pretended that I was in a lot worse state. To See, force him to come out because he's being a dick. <laughs> I wish I would have thought about that because I would have been like, I'm really hurt, man. I'm hurt. <laughs> my like, leg is facing the wrong direction. And then he it's comes over and I'm like, whatever, like dick. Yeah. <laughs> next time. Get back on time. your conference call. Stop slacking. That's right. And, and next time I'm going to do so, that because I know he doesn't listen to this podcast because he's like, I listen to you two all the time and I'm over it. So <laughs> he did. He told me over it. He's like, I, he's like, I just can't listen to your podcast. He's like, it's just like listening to you to talk all the time. <laughs> so those he... people who don't know us, this is how we are all Fine. the time. And apparently we annoy him. Well, that doesn't bode well for our listeners. What are we trying to say? That eventually people will get tired of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got an end game, apparently. Well, That's let's right. live it up while we've got it. When we start okay, going so to like, one download a week, we know it's probably our parents. Right. It's time to shut it down. Keep it alive. So listen, we wanted to talk like a couple weeks ago, we got on our uh, Facebook group and you would kind of put a post out there asking people to kind of give us our their secrets. Um, not one person did it. Not no. one. <laughs> no, we got better with the, the, we had a better response with the first episode that we did with the stories, the uh, cr the craziest thing that ever happened to you. Yeah. I mean, people are, yeah. But to tell us a secret, I guess, because it, 
a secret for some people I think are, is so, it feels so intimate. I think when you say secret, it just, all of a sudden it's like, oh my gosh, you know, your deepest, darkest secrets. And so one of the things that I have wanted what to are you talk hiding, about people, what are you what, hiding? Right. What don't you want us to know? Mm. So I had, we had kind of talked about this because when I was in high school, do you know of post secret? Well, you told me about this and, and I, I do know, like, I know of it. I remember it. I don't, I never read it. I don't, I remember it was like a thing on the TV. Like they did like a, there was a, there's a lot of publicity behind it, but in terms of like reading it. So it's kind of like, um, it was basically a project where it started around two, it was published in 2005. And the project was to ask people to send an anonymous, uh, like postcard to, um, this address and for you to be able to unburden yourself with whatever your secret was, whatever truth you want to tell, whatever, something that you have not been able to tell anybody else. And people did it in droves. Hold that thought for a second. And I want to postcard. Okay. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. So to me, you say 2005, it feels like yesterday. Like it does. It does yeah. like 2005. That doesn't even, but it, yeah, 2005, I think like I got, I was like, I don't even know if I had a cell phone. I might've had a flip phone, you know, like that's what I had. Yeah. So, I don't think that was the regular, like kids not, didn't have cell you're phones. You're not asking people in 2022 to send in a postcard. So I find that to be like, that's, but they're still of- doing it. That's what I'm trying to tell you is in that it's been going on. Yes. Yes. You yes, are yes. putting their address on these things. No, you send it anonymously. The, Calm the down. People take it anonymously. Yep. Yeah. You don't have to put a return address on something. You know that, right? Maybe. Apparently you don't. I'm drinking our logo. Look, I'm drinking our logo. <coughs> okay. Do calm down. Okay. <laughs> so postscript is you can actually go online and I love it because I loved it in high school when it first came out and a girlfriend of mine in high What's school, she had it. um, it's postsecret.com and people do send things even now. And, and it's you, crazy. Is it just straight that he puts it on the internet or is it like, can you, can you add something on the internet? Well, so it said he, the people who run this, they're the ones who put everything on the internet. And so they actually put up what they call Sunday secrets and they have on there, like the steps, if you wanted to share your secret for them, like where to send it to. And, um, it kind of gives you tips on what to do. Cause it, they tell you to be creative. So some people like draw pictures or paint something or, so it's not all just I'm not drawing one. a picture of my secret. Okay. Weird. Uh, so I was reading through some of these things. Listen to this one. This person wrote in, I didn't have a mask to go into the, to the store. So I rock walked around the parking lot until I found one. No, I go home and I would, or I would put my face in Settle my down. Shirt. This is somebody's truth is what that's I'm saying. Fucking gross. But that's the thing. Some of these Ooh. things are. I okay, hope you like one. syphilis. <laughs> Jesus. This is and mouth herpes. Do you like mouth herpes? Yeah. Welcome to that. Here's one mask, the parking lot mask. <laughs> oh my God. Fucking I exchanged. Broke. Here's another one. I exchanged nudes for Girl Scout cookie sales for my niece. Okay. To another adult, I hope. Doesn't say. Fucking gross. <laughs> Fucking gross. <laughs> it's that's the thing. And I'm sorry. Oh. You, I'm sorry. How desperate are you to sell nudes for Girl Scout cookies? <laughs> Look, these I puppies think that's... would be great. These puppies I... would be great on the big I'm... screen, but I'm not getting anything less than a couple mil to show my tits. <laughs> Fucking a basket mil. of Girl Scout cookies. Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> <laughs> You're very tore up by this. Listen, though, that is the aunt of the year. She's like, don't worry, honey. I'll get I'll you, get you some sales. sales. <laughs> Talking like this is uh, orphans. Show me your beads. <laughs> oh God, that's so funny. I have, there's, 
She goes so house to ones. house, show you the boobs, you throw a box of cookies at them. <laughs> Here's no. one that says, when I come out of the bathroom naked, I pretend the paparazzi has caught me in a compromising situation. Okay, that's cute. I like that. <laughs> that's <adorable>. fun. <laughs> I'd never do that because it would jiggle too much. And the more, the more I would act as if something was happening, the more it would jiggle. So I don't, <laughs> that's not something. Mm -mm. Like all shocked, that's, like, oh, and it'd be like. <laughs> but that's the thing, isn't it? Like secrets are just kind of what somebody is. I don't know. Is it that you're embarrassed by it? Or it's just the thing that you don't expect people to like be doing? Okay. So do you want me to tell my secret? What would be your secret? Okay. Did you ever watch the show Nip Tuck on FX? Um, yes, I have, I, I watched not, I don't know, didn't watch the whole series, but I think I've caught like one or two episodes, like okay. very little. Well, it was actually a very, it was such a horrible series, but it was so addicting and it was so like very nighttime soap opera. Well, there was a season in which they would sell like, so they found out that semen was a good facial cream. So they had people selling semen facial cream. I to help can't believe infection. we're going here, but it's going to be great. Let's I'm, I'm strapped in and ready to go. I've got a big smile. I Googled on my face. it. <laughs> <'Cause of course laughs> I was late to the party when I watched Nip Tuck. I was like way later than it, like it had already all been on like Netflix or Hulu or whatever. I don't even know if Hulu was around, but it was already like on like a streaming thing. That's why I was watching it. And I was like, I Googled it. Apparently there's some, uh, there's, uh, some, some scientific information behind it. The only thing is, is like <laughs> what the show did was like, you could sell it as a cream, but you can't because it doesn't last that long. The spew uh -huh. doesn't last. Like it, you can't just mix it into like something. And then it where it, like, it has to be straight from the, straight from the source. <laughs> yeah. If you will. Let me just tell you, Michael was a happy man for like a day or two. And I was like, no, this is gross. I'm not doing this. <laughs> Besides the fact that it's too much work. I think it was pre-kids. I definitely had it pre-children. Pre <laughs> so I did to try it. And I'm, I will say that I had a very nice hue, a lovely hue. <laughs> this is also coming from somebody who like legit, I don't touch my face. I hate like- That's true. Everything I can, breaks I can. out my face. So if I like, I would try something if they're like, yes, this will like make sure that you don't have zits. Cause I get like big, hard, like, ew, gross zits. So it will last on my face for like seven months. I hate my face. So- Yes. <laughs> so I, you've said that literally to me my entire life. That's right. So much so that when uh, we have you in the car, you're like, I and my husband will go, I hate my face. <laughs> he does. He finishes my sentence. Yes. So- um, yeah. So when you, so if something like this was to come up and it's going to be like the miracle cure for like healthy complexion, I'm going to try it. See if it, I never broke out. <laughs> well, it's, you had the and homegrown version. You had the homegrown version. I don't have, uh, a secret like that. I really don't. It might've been three days, four days, but it wasn't. <laughs> <definitely. laughs> It didn't last any longer than that. I didn't have the stamina. That was a little bit too much. Well, I don't, I don't have a, I don't, I really just don't have a secret like that. We talked about it as like, what would I, what would you don't be have anything that, have? that you wouldn't, that you don't normally talk to people about, but I, you've done. So my, I think we've established through this podcast, my personality is a, a little bit of a, I, I'm a shock value type. I enjoy okay. the shock value of things. Is this so, what I just told you shocking? Well, no, because I've known that since you oh, did yeah, it. Oh, yeah, that's right. I have told you. So you pretty much were like, oh, so I've read on this, and this is what I'm going to do. And just so that you know, I'll keep you posted. I'm like, I don't need updates because I'm not going down that road. I'm fine. I even no, think well, you have time, a gorgeous complexion with small pores, you asshole. I don't. What? Yeah. More, say more, say more, say more. <laughs> I've been sick. I've been sick for five days. Tell me how pretty I'm, <laughs> I am again. <laughs> never. <laughs> so yeah, I never, I don't have any of that. So to me, it's like, I don't have things, I guess that are, I guess maybe a secret to me. I will, I'm trying to think of, I don't know that I have really. I mean, we, I guess you're right because we've talked about like at least seven of your shit stories on this TV show. So, or on this TV show, on this podcast. 
I just, you know, I, I have, you now have a TV no show problem, <laughs> right? I have no problem, uh, kind of saying my truths really. I don't, I don't know that I have any, Oh, you know what? I will say this. It's not really a secret. And I'm sure there's a lot of people who do this. There is one thing that I do really find fun to do when I'm cooking. I like to pretend I'm on a cooking show. Charlie does that when she's cooking. If, if, like she goes, yes. like we've given her some things like we'll, we've started her off with like box pancakes or box cake, that kind of stuff. And she's in the kitchen. She's like, okay, so I'm going to take two and a half cups of the pancake mix. And I'm going to put it in this bowl. It's hysterical. So yeah. Funny. So I only do it when I'm kind of by myself. I don't really do it when like, there's other people around. So I don't do it very often, but when I am by myself and if I'm really cooking a meal, I try to pull off a little Julia Childs on that shit. Mm-hmm, I sure do. I'm like, Oh, and we're going to go ahead and cook it. add a little bit of this. And we're going to add a little bit of that. Let's also see what we have over here. Mm, okay how to dash that. And then the next thing we want to do is bring this up to a simmer. Yeah, that I totally do that. I totally do that. But I, I specifically pretend, when I'm alone, never pretend, when anyone's at the house, I pretend I'm the executive chef when I'm at work. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's very good. That's very good. I would definitely say, um, I have to, I don't think I have any other ones. I mean, some of the I things that about that's a cute one. That's adorable. I think that's fine. Other things are like I listen to Christmas music year round, but I'm pretty sure I've said you that said on this it, thing here, yeah. hundred times. Probably, probably listen to it in the, on a podcast in May. Yeah, 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 yeah. I I definitely will do that. I will absolutely listen to Christmas music. Oh, I sing in my car as if I'm Mariah Carey, or you know. Um, yeah, but I think every, everybody does that part. That's not really a secret, is it? And I <laughs> okay. You just cut out. I think you just broke the audio on that one. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Somebody's ears. Somebody with their earbuds like just popped them out of their head. Like, oh my god. Oh my yeah. god. So I guess while everybody is not going to come in uh, and give us their uh, secrets, um, they can always write to postscript and do it. And you could be like this one woman who says, "I fantasize about your wife dying and you and I raising the child you had with her." A weird that's a that's, that's, a, that's an interesting thing to unburden yourself with that's uh that's stalkery that's like go go find yourself a an actual date honey let me introduce you to some but people do it like that's the thing people do these things it's like it's also as as stalkery as it sounds it is a very human thing when you want something you can't have that's like the age, age old I don't know if problem, I, right? I, it first off, it has never occurred to me to look at a man who has a kid and a wife and be like, I'm going to knock your wife off. So I like, no, I she didn't not, say that. Well, I mean, didn't she? <laughs> wasn't no. it, it, wasn't it she, she dreams about your wife dying. She didn't say she knocked her print. out or knocked her off. <laughs> Pretty sure it was in the fine print. <laughs> I think she's hoping somebody else will take care of that. She wants to be around to raise the children. To me, I'm sort of like, why are you looking at somebody else's man and being like, I want to raise that baby. <laughs> Clearly the person who's having these dreams has never raised children before. Uh, just because whoever... you're kind of like, oh, that's some baggage I don't want. <laughs> Damn, oh. you cute though. You cute though, but I'm going to keep this shit going. All right, I'm just going to head over here. <laughs> Yeah, that's a little much. That's a little much. I don't want to, first off, I don't like to raise some, I, I taught for 10 years. There's no, and, I, and I'm, I've met thousands upon thousands of different personality children. Never in my life am I going to be like, yes, I want to raise your children. That's what I'm saying. That are not mine. The person who has these fantasies of other people dying off so she can raise a child with someone else. Yeah, Clearly I wonder, are happen. you older and can't have, like, are you over, over baby making age? Are you younger and can't have babies? Like, is that the thing? And you really think that this guy has like great kids. So you're like, I want to raise these kids because they're so great because there's no way that if they were asked. It's intense children, where your mind goes. I, I have <laughs> not, that your, <laughs> your whole mind, you're creating a backstory now. For I am, person. of course. I have, I have scenario. You're I don't invested now. Questions. It's so much. That's a lot. Yeah. What does this girl do for a living? I would say hairdresser. 
also and she comes we're in, assuming and he comes a in. Woman. He, well me and michael we actually used to do this so when we first like were dating and going out probably even so with your mary we haven't done it in so long but we would actually go places and we probably haven't done it since we had kids we would go places like out to dinner and like that's topic of conversation so we'd sit there and we'd like look at people and we're like okay that guy over there you know that that couple and then we would give them a backstory or like a story you know yeah. what i mean and talk about them as if we knew who they were or like a baseball game or whatever the case may be sometimes the stories were nice and sweet sometimes they were like the lady who when wants to knock would off you turn uh uh a backstory that you're creating into a not so sweet. What are the characteristic traits that somebody must have walking into a restaurant, trying to have a nice, enjoyable evening to where all of a sudden I would have to like, it would be their- like the mannerism. Okay. For instance. So we went to this restaurant on Christmas Eve. And of course, like I still kind of like on occasion think of things to say, you know, but like we don't engage because the kids are there and it's like, I don't want to like, I don't know if I want to teach the kids that because they're young. I don't know if they, if yeah. they would get that. It's just like, although maybe I will join them in on this fun. It is, it does create for good conversation. <laughs> or maybe I will join them in this fun. <laughs> so, so you know it table, sounds like it's a family time. Yeah. So it was Christmas Eve. We went out to dinner and this, the, there was a family of like, I would say like maybe four or five kids and four or five adults. I can't really remember, but it, it was like, a, like where we had like a four top table. They had a couple tables. So there was several people. I didn't count, but everyone, all of them were on a cell phone or a, a gaming app or something like right. all of them. So of course I'm like sitting in my head and I'm like playing like roles. And like the one kid got, uh, the, it was like this lamb skewer thing. That was like the, the, um, um special for the evening. And the kid, and the, one of the kids got it, who was on the thing. And I'm like, mm, mom ordered that for them. <laughs> you know I mean? I'm like, cause that kid is not ordering lamb. <laughs> like, he, he's, but mom, I don't want the lamb. You're going to eat the lamb. Problem is your backstory should have been better. The kid has a Benjamin Button syndrome. He's actually not a kid. He's a grown <laughs> man. Well, I'm a little out of practice. And this is, but I, those are just things I remember thinking to myself. I don't remember what I gave to them. I just know that they were a family of technophobes or techno, yeah, technophobes. No, no. phobe phobias are. Uh, I don't want a phobe, but a techno something. I don't know. It's a word. I know you it's there. Start a podcast. The British guy in my podcast. <laughs> <laughs> all right well i think uh, i think it does it for this week um we are back again next week thank you guys for coming out and listening like you do every single week it's always appreciated keep your eyes out for um information on the youtube channel uh and um check us out if you have a friend who's over the age of 40 send them our uh, link Shall you? Will you? Shan't you? <laughs> Shan't you? Okay. All right. Well, uh, we'll close this out as we normally do uh, with a one, two, three. Don't, Don't be, be a, a dick. Dick.